Yeah. I had a whole Jew day lined up in oh, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. And then you had Griff take it from you. That has to oh, feel buddy. horrible. He sends me pictures of matzo ball soup yeah. and a pickle jar. Yeah. And he has this whole like lamb chop like yeah. display in front mm -hmm. of him. And he's just hanging out with my Jews. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Jake's Seattle. Jews are giving Griff hotel rooms. Yeah, yeah dude, that's yeah. tough. And then, then Stotts goes, great job getting the hotel room, Griff. Yeah. <laughs> that's my oh, Jew. Yeah, that, yeah, that is yeah, my yeah, Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not in the club, but we're right next to it. Me and my crew, we are country club adjacent. Country club adjacent. Country Club Jason, baby. Country Club Jason. Country Club Jason, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Country Club Adjacent. We are back fresh off an airplane from Michigan. Almost died on it, but we made it. Jesus, dude. What happened? All the girls oh, are here Bro. in studio. What happened? I, of it course, am young Chip next to Griff. Scratch yourself, Pippin. Uh, next to me is Aristotle Volvic Georgeson, That's right. and on the end, of course, is Missing Mark. Um, and today's topics are Scotty Scheffler winning the Olympics, the OWGR not changing anything, Griff <laughs> having a day with Jews without me, Griff playing Whistling Straits, I played it a member guest, and Mark is missing. Let's start the show. <laughs> Mark's missing. Dude, we, we had, almost died. We had so much fucking turbulence. Yeah, but you can't die from turbulence. Bro. I know. That's what he said. Remember, you and I thought we were going to die in that one flight. Uh, no, because you can't die from turbulence. Yeah, yeah but you, 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 it's you, freaky. You're, when you're there in there that was, moment, it, it, there was, uh, you know, it wasn't I thought I was going to die. I just was like, you know, I accept it now. See, yeah, you don't want to get to that. The, the thing is, you can't really die from turbulence, but like with everything that's going on with Boeing, it's like, the, yeah. is there a screw somewhere that's going to yeah. fall out and the wing is just going to collapse? Like, that's what I'm afraid it's of. It's usually, it's just it's the usually maxes. engine it's failures. What? It's just the Boeing maxes that are fucked up. Well, I don't care what it is. So you can look to see if it's a max and get off the plane, if, and you could request a different plane. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, who's going to... Uh, but Not the me. thing, it's usually engine failures that cause crashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you either, you crash on takeoff. Or landing. Like, or landing 90% of the time. Okay, yes. so this was at takeoff. This wasn't like this over was the like, Rockies. This, this was, was right out of the gate. Going through clouds on the ascending. Ooh. Which, that's very, scary. That was scary. I was just like sitting there like, get through the fucking clouds. Get through the clouds. Just please get, and as soon as we got through the clouds, everything was okay. But was, how do we know? We're sitting here saying turbulence, you won't die. But how do we know? We're just putting our faith in people smarter than us that got engineering degrees. Well, that's that's why you, That's why you get on the fucking airplane, too. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that is I know. We put our faith in a lot of things that way. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. There could be some engineer that's just a fucking degenerate out there. Like, yeah. man, I built that plane. I always think it's somebody who works for an airline who's just got lazy that day. Mm -hmm. And that's where my mind goes. Of yeah, somebody setting up the plane or like refueling. They're like, ah, I don't have time. Having a yeah, bad day. Yeah, there's too many rivets. <laughs> yeah. I've done too many rivets today. Uh -huh. I'm tired. Oh, I'm sick of this fucking job. They didn't give me a raise. No, fuck them. Then it's yeah. like really, f literally, fuck us. like you just fucked 300 people's lives. Yeah, but like you never think about that. You never think about that. Like when you get into my car and <laughs> let me tell you, I forgot about some. Have rivets. you cleaned your car recently? Yeah. Really? Since since I shamed you? Yeah. No, you didn't shame me, bro. You could never shame me. What oh, happened? okay. I tried to shame you. Yeah, I know. Since I tried I to know. shame you. Yeah. And, but you couldn't since then? Yeah. Uh, Jay gets in my car. He's like, dude, like, don't you have a girlfriend? <laughs> dude, like, it was disgusting. Yeah, dog. Why do you think I got one, bro? Because I live like this. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that she can fix how you. Much, how much better is it <laughs> getting into a clean car, though? Uh, I don't really mind. I can compartmentalize a mess. You know, I just like put it in a little pile. You can't compartmentalize can. when you put your hand into a mess to move like into gear. There's you know not. I mean, that. you're, you're, you're over exaggerating. Your a little shifter bit. is sticky. <laughs> you're definitely over exaggerating. You definitely have a sticky a lot, shifter, dude. Without a, a doubt. Shifter? No. Yeah. Dude. No. Yeah. No. Your cup holders are gross. So what? What are you f fingering my cup holders? What the fuck do my cup holders have to be clean for they, you? They, I think about them all the time. You never think about Dude, my cup holders, I cannot bro. compartmentalize a mess. I cannot do I, that. Yeah. I see a mess, I'm like, Gah, fix it. And Dude, my dad it. will shame the shit out of me if my car is dirty. Yeah. He's the worst about well, it. Well, it's because he bought it. Yeah, he's the, he's the worst about it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's like, yeah. where is my investment going to? He helped with it. Takes <laughs> shot, taking shots at fucking everyone. Dude. I mean, help with it. Shots That's still fired, bought it. Dude. Yeah. 
<laughs> how's your um how's your uh, Cadillac that you used our backs to get <laughs> <laughs> so clean? Yeah, so sure clean. it is. <laughs> sure it is clean. Yep. Mark? Sure it is. Mark, that, that Mark's is got my back. <laughs> that is compartmentalized. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We're your fathers in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe if you used our back to help you get your Kia, you wouldn't be paying 40 extra grand for it. Uh, 60. This is con 60. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I just have four more years of payments. That's nothing. Right? This is not a fucking problem, yeah, dog. That's one more presidency. That's dude, it. dude, it's one more failed Trump presidency. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who did Trump lose the presidency to, by the way? What? Biden. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, who did he run against when he lost? Man. I know. I like that's so Don't far worry, removed. Man. Don't worry, Biden doesn't know either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can't remember either, dude. Yeah. Dude. Tip top shape, dude. Can't wait for that Kamala Harris uh, fucking Donald Trump debate. Oh, it's going to be, be fire, fire yeah. dude. It's going to be fun. Dude, did you see Tim Dillon's rant about Kamala Harris? No, couldn't care, couldn't care too what? less about this Tim Dillon. No one Holy is better shit. rant. No, no it was spectacular. Like, it, he nailed it. Because you, if you if you look at her, she's like, she is an empty vessel of a human being. Well, a, they a, all a are. politician they puppet. All, they all are. But a like, politician puppet. Her, like, her laugh and just like the, the there's just... Dead eyes, dude. Well, Dead eyes, and his he nailed it. So. She's a lizard Just person. She's a lizard for sure. She's Joe, a lizard for Joe sure. Joe Brown yeah. has been going hard in the paint on her. Oh yeah, saying how she got to where she is. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it, it, like, everyone's done hot. fucked up shit to get where they are. Yeah, you not know. Donald Trump. <laughs> he hasn't done anything fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Not a thing, bro. That's our president. Don't fucking speak bad about him. Everybody has done. He has that what shit. a couple of faulty real estate deals. His dad helped him buy his Honda Accord as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he trashed his Honda Accord also. A couple of couple of faulty deals. Kamala's locked people up. Donald Trump's never locked anybody up. If anything, he's free. He, dude, he freed he, Kodak he, Black. Yeah, he freed Kodak, Kodak Black. He freed Kodak, and Kamala has done nothing but lock up blacks. Yeah. Did you, you know? see? Uh, did you see Trump on uh, Aiden Ross's stream? No, I woke I woke up to that or went to I can't remember. Uh, New York sucks. Um, <laughs> Welcome back to politics adjacent. Politics yeah, we are Jason. here today. To I, that actually, that that made me want to kill myself though. Like watching Aiden Ross and Trump, I was like, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, yeah. there's nothing. Did you? I tried. Okay, but I couldn't find a garage. So so my question is, that's Mark, what I want to do. We almost died on a plane. What happened to you this weekend with our favorite airline? Dude, American Airlines, bro. Oh, no. American Airlines. Dude, it was so funny because I had Joe, my buddy, I was at Joey's house. He took me in from homelessness. Oh. And Joey and his uh, beautiful wife, Holly, great couple, love him to death. They were just watching me go ham on this airline uh, like callback. Oh, you got an audience too for an airline call? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Were good. you on fire? Oh, I was I was ripping this guy. Dude, first of all, two hour wait time, call me back. Call me back like six hours later. Oh my god. Right? Then he's like trying to gaslight me, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, what's up with like a hotel? He's like, unfortunately, we don't do it due to weather. And I'm like, all right, bro, like, but like uh, what am I just supposed to be homeless now? Right. Uh, overnight, he's like, "Well, we can refund you, and you could book a flight uh, getting out of here tonight." I'm like, "You fucking cancel you! I, it's the last flight. What are you talking about?" Yeah. I was like, "All right, well, just cancel me then." He's like, "Well, we did rebook you," uh, and I was like, "You rebooked me on a Tuesday morning getting in. I was getting in t one a one o'clock on Tuesday morning, and I was supposed to get in on Sunday night." Yeah. I was like, how is that a rebooking? He's like, so you don't want to keep the the rebooking. I was like, brother, if you say rebooking one more time, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to freak out. He's like, I don't know why you're getting upset. We booked you when you flight. And I was like, dude, you didn't book me shit. Yeah. If you say rebook, dude, if I literally said this, I go, if another word comes out of your fucking mouth. That isn't, I canceled your flight and refunded you the money. I am going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> and then just like probably three minutes of silence. And Hell then, yes. And then you just hear, I canceled your flight, you're refunded. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And then he goes, if you want to wait around for a survey. I was like, oh, please believe <laughs> I'm going to wait around for a fucking survey, buddy. Dude, and then I like rebooked the flight and I'm dealing with what's her face, you know, and she's like, there's no other flights. Um, just text me your credit card info. It's going to be $7,000 to change your flight again. I'm just like, bro, what are we doing here? Jake is just like ignoring calls because he's 
jealous about Griff playing with Jews, so he's just in a horrible place. <laughs> True, I was. I'm homeless I with was luggage, also and he's texting. Jake is texting me. He's like, "Dude, you're in New York, bro. Have fun." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude. I was so mad, and then like Jake, by the grace of God, I don't know what got into him. He just sends a text that's like. That's like, hey man, I'm sorry this is happening. I'm here for you if you need. And I was, was like, my mindset the whole time. And I was like, okay, all well, right. Like, now I'm, I'm not mad at you. In New York, <laughs> but it was like 10 a.m. Dude, I, I had like, spent $500 <laughs> on two nights at the Soho Grand. Okay, like I was like $1,500 negative for this trip. I spent $700 in Ubers getting to and from Connecticut. How, how much? How many? How much did you make on ticket sales? I text. J shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. Okay, I I text J like Jake's like, can you text? Can you make this fucking thing? I'm like, bro, I'm about to go on stage. He's like, dude, what is it like a matinee show? And I'm like, what it is a matinee show? <laughs> you think I'm excited? <laughs> yeah, it was like 3 p.m. in LA. He's yes, like, dude, make a fucking title card. I'm like, dude, this isn't a title cardable fucking clip. I promise you, dude, make a title card. Did I make the fucking title card? We post a clip. He's like, dude, I don't know. It's like 10 likes. What's going on? It's like it was a fucking bad play from the get go. I just got done with my matinee show. I just don't know how everything turns on me. You can yell at me for that one. That playing. was me. I no, no, no. I'm yeah. not yelling at you for that. I'm yelling at the group. That oh, was yeah, the yeah. group message. I'm sorry. That was a group <laughs> message of like, why isn't anybody fucking listening to but me? Yes, I still think you should clean your car, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I was like, why can't anybody? I was like, dude, I'll make a title card when I creatively feel like it's a need to make a title card. It's not clickbaity. And then I get a fucking text from Stotts like, we called the Olympics. I'm like, that's nothing. <laughs> I got to do a comedy show at six o'clock, bro. I got out of the show. It was brighter outside than when I fucking went in. God How damn. is that possible? That feels bro? bad. How is that possible? Why was it at six? Well, whose idea was that? Dude, I don't want to fucking talk about it. I, I hate New York City, bro. Me too. I'm I not a big hate, fan. I hate New York City, bro. You nope. step in shit. Everyone looks weird. Like, everyone's a dick. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, bro. Well, The comics are cunts. Which is interesting because they're all voting for Kamala Harris. Yeah, no, they're going to fuck. Wow. Uh, I, I know. Coincidence? About. No. I don't think so. Okay. You okay? Yeah, it was just, it was just like a... Uh, and then, like... <laughs> and then, like, I want to... I'm like, at least I get to go hang with my boys. You know, we're yeah. going to go talk shit, smoke some weed. Get all the weed. No weed for me. I got, I got, we, we got, got some, some for you. We got, we got plenty God, for bro. you. Just fucking nothing, bro. Yeah. I, I, I don't think this is like, I feel the same way when Griff and I went to Ireland because I feel like we should talk about the trip, but I don't want to talk about it in front of you. No, no, no I want to hear because like, I want to feel worse than I do. Um, and it's fine. I do want to say, I really appreciate you sending those messages, Jake. Um, those messages are everything. I really appreciate that. I got you. Um, yeah, I, really I didn't know what else to do in that situation. No, that's I, everything. I tried right? to make that's you. All you I did do. try to make you laugh a little bit and cheer you up. I just sent that. Griff never <laughs> tears me up. <laughs> he only brings you down. What did Griff's Griff always like, you? dude, my dick is soft. <laughs> and I'm like, not what I want to deal with. That's right not now. what I said. Wait, what did he say to you? What did you I say? I just said we're going to sue America. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't make me feel because we are not going to. <laughs> We might. <laughs> we might. <laughs> we might. Like, dude, I was just so mad. I see the hotel. I see the Airbnb. I'm like, all right, well, at least they're going to be fucking stuck in a swamp while I'm stuck uh -oh. in New York. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Five-star well. hotel accommodations <laughs> yeah. inbound. For free. Dude. Because Griff was, was really polite to some to yeah. some powerful well, Jews. Also, Darts, you're not the only person. It was obviously a lot worse, but like, I had a shit travel day as well. Yeah. I had a whole Jew day lined up in oh, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. And then you had Griff take it from you. That that has to oh, feel buddy. horrible. He sends me pictures of matzo ball soup yeah. and a pickle jar. Yeah. And he has this whole like lamb chop like yeah. display in front mm -hmm. of him. And he's just hanging out with my Jews. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and Jake's Seattle. Jews are giving Griff hotel rooms. Yeah, yeah dude. That's yeah. tough. And then, then Stotts goes, great job getting the hotel room, Griff. Yeah. <laughs> that's my <laughs> Jew. Yeah, that, yeah, that is yeah, my yeah, Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. I forgot. I didn't uh -oh. even think about how that chapter out. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 No, I like I like the positive like <laughs> things. I like the, those positive check-in moments. Great yeah. job getting the hotel, Griff. Yeah. That, that, that type shit yeah. really goes a long way. Great job taking my Even Jew. if you don't feel it right wow. like i know jake 
had no idea what he was texting, and he didn't feel like this was the thing to do, but it's fine. It's accidental kindness. Yeah, you know, like when you spin the wheel, and like <laughs> yeah. somehow you're like, oh, I just won? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what that text yeah, did that to me. That was what I sent an emotional text. Because I was like, NYC homeless. Jake's like, dude, like, dude, just ha pay the fucking guy at the hotel $20 to take care of your luggage. luggage. And I was luggage. like, I was like, bro, I'm going to... I'm gonna book private to fucking slap this guy, and then, <laughs> and then you didn't like that one. That no, was no, that one, that one teetered me, bro. Really? Okay, dude, that one redlined me, and it was like, ying, 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 ying. <laughs> and then the next text was like, dude, I just, I'm here for you, man. And I was like, you went the other way, <laughs> dude. I booked. Uh, this is how pissed off after the third flight that I missed booked. I booked a first class ticket for like seventeen hundred dollars. I was like. I don't even care. I just want to sit in first class yeah, all the way home. I feel that. I like, feel that. Don't matter. And that's the one that unboarded early, bro. That boarded early. So I was just like on the way to first class. Nope, you're not getting on that flight. You're on the Williamsburg Bridge for the next two hours. And then I had to book a thousand dollar jet blue flight next to savages. <laughs> oh no. When you say savages, what does that mean? Dude, white savages, bro. Ugh. The worst. Just like, like they brought food on the airplane? Like, dude, like, imagine if my cup holders were in real life form. Oh. Oh. Say no more. Like, dude, I love yeah. trollios, but, like, don't spill them into my fucking oh, no. seat, dude. <laughs> you met oh, no. some of my relatives. You met your match. <laughs> you met Griff's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> dude, she, like, dude, she, like, woke me up for the drinks. Like, after she saw me take five Benadryl. And she, like, woke me up. And then I couldn't get back to bed. And yeah, then I was inside just, Inside like, or outside? Huh? You were on in window or aisle? I was on... Uh, window. Why'd she wake you up? Oh, the flight attendant did. No, the lady next to me. She was like, Do you, you want a drink? Yeah. And I was like, What? I was like, Lady, Don't. I have a Pepsi right here. You saw me literally bust open three blister packs of Benadryl <laughs> and take them all. I watched you watch me. Like, she was like, What is happening? And I was like, I'm going to kill myself on this <laughs> flight. Either that or I'm just going to sleep the whole time. God. Dude. Both great outcomes. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Either way, it was just rough. So, um, for the listeners, we're going to be starting a GoFundMe for Mark to get back from all of this, and we're going to fucking pay for all of those flights. Dude, it, like, at least the the saving grace was, like, living so close to the airport, it's like a $30 Uber black to my house, mm. 10 minutes. Yeah, Nothing. that part's nice, right? <sighs> yeah. It was so nice, bro. So nice. But Damn. how was the trip? Uh, how was the... Uh... So... Yeah, I mean, first off, the the company, like, we were supposed to be staying at this nice Airbnb with yep. a hot tub. I showed, I sent the link to the group, and this is like where we're supposed to be staying, and that's why it looked we, great. Yeah, right, let's, okay, let's, let's bring that back a second though, because it wasn't a nice Airbnb. It was a Verbo. Well, start there. That's fair. Sure, but like at least it was. It looked really nice. It, had it got great reviews. So did our Texas one. Looked pretty cool. No, but like since what happened in Texas, I've been doing my research, and they sent me verbal options, and I'm like, this one has like 150 reviews. Yeah, all good. Yep. And then without telling us, they rebooked us into a, a swamp house. Yeah. Which because I missed Why? my flight, only Griff got to. So just me. <laughs> Why in a swamp? Why I don't know. Uh, well, what she claimed was that. It, it got we had too many days and so it got booked up so they pivoted and got one that was like as close to it as possible and and Rick I stayed no. by myself and it was in between a swamp and a road not even kidding you just dads on Harleys flying by all night spiders there were uh, fleas they, in dude, the carpet oh, fucking spider it's over for Griff, dude, has, Griff has fleas there's now. flea there were I'm not kidding you there are fleas in the carpet it stunk in there like somebody had a rough childhood. It was just disgusting. It was like See, patches. That would have made my life so much better if you guys had to stay there. No, I'm never staying there. I did. You know, no. you know that I did stay there. there, though. He stayed there one night. That's crazy, dude. I'm booking a hotel room immediately. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going edge speed dial. So then I kind of panic call the lady from the airport. And I was like, we, we're not staying here. This is not the right place. It's not where you booked us. Um, you're gonna have to pay for a hotel. So I book a hotel for us, uh, like a pretty cool one, like yeah, downtown looked okay. Detroit. Looked okay. Yeah, it looked, it looked solid. Um, and then uh, Griff plays with my Jews all day. <laughs> and then one of the Jews was like, 
Um, oh, I own, I own a, a hotel. hotel. I own yeah. a five star hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just do that? Yeah, you could stay there for free. Done. Uh, okay. And then so we canceled the other hotel. It was and five stars. It was uh, four and a half stars. Four oh, stars. Yeah, yeah, four stars. Dude, listen, listen, you guys, it was me, bro. so nice. Me and Wheels so show up nice. there first, and we're just like, whoa, this is pretty nice. Dude, get in the room. First off, they don't even take fucking credit cards down on yeah. the rooms. So then we see the Everything mini bar in our in room and like all the snacks. Was and we're hours like, for the taking. No uh, credit cards. I no. spent I spent at least three hundred and fifty dollars on mini bar yeah. at the Soho. No, well, there was no incidentals here. God, that's awesome. And it was like a fucking studio apartment. It had a couch bigger than this in the living room, a TV bigger than that right in front of there. I'm it so had bad. mood lighting. The the ah! bed. The you bed control was the mood lighting like, from the bed. Showers oh, though, dude. The I showers was I, gigantic. Dude, oh. I slept on a couch while my buddy played NCA double fucking whatever football for like four hours and. All all he was doing was roster recruiting. And it was just like <laughs> fucking. No. And then I watch him play and he's bad, bro. Do you uh, know how fucking terrible my nights were, bro? I can't even imagine. Oh, uh, you had a five star hotel. Five star hotel. And then on top of that, like they had the the sugar fina uh, gummies and the sugar fina nuts. Oh, dude, for free. Yeah. Shout and out to Townsend. Uh, Townsend. Thank you for in Birmingham. Oh, and Birmingham, Michigan, Michigan is Our the. Jordan, suburb Jordan the of Jew. All time. Jordan Yellen. Shout out Jordan Yellen. Shout You're the out man. Jordan Yellen. You're the man. Jordan Yellen, I'm going to make a trip to Birmingham, Michigan to uh, you make You should up take for, your girl there. Yeah, I yeah, will. Yeah. It's lovely. I fucking absolutely it's, will. I'm dude, stacking town, up hotel rooms. The town was incredible, too. It was like yes. very fun. Oh. There, all, there was us and then Caldonians. Michigan Charm. It was us and just Chaldean. a Chaldean. Those, those, thing, those seem way Chaldeans. nicer than New Yorkians. They are way nicer. Yeah, yeah they're f New Yorkians are pricks. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. There's so, a lot of fun comics that I that I hung out with, but like other than that, like just horrifying. Sorry. Dude. So yeah, we stayed at this hotel and then we did our back offs. Um, and then you got rained out. No, it just rained for half uh, an hour. Yeah, but it downpoured, and then we played golf afterwards. After. And it was uh, me and Wheels versus Stotts and, and Griff. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's just so hard to play Stotts and Griff because they're just two just like no you bird, guys are bird, 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 you guys are bird. mean they're just, they're just we didn't no, say we didn't say it anything. wasn't mean we no, no, no. They, they weren't mean yesterday there was no shit they're talking. just like fumbly and bumbly and they don't know like I'm lining up a putt and Stotts is asking Griff which way, way his breaks yeah yeah they're retarded <laughs> dude <laughs> they're like they're like if you were to uh, bring someone that's retarded <laughs> to like a chess tournament like they yeah. just accidentally gonna fuck shit yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. They, it's fucking <laughs> stupid, bro. They're just, they're they both not, hop out like the car with like their rangefinders <laughs> then they gotta walk back to go uh -huh. get their clubs. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. No, it's just, it's it's bro, like car path only, the guy will run oh, all the way out into the fairway so add car all path the way out of the fairway to rangefind, then all the way back <laughs> then run all the way back and be like, oops, wrong club. Well, yeah. Go all the way back uh, it was even worse because I had to play out of Griff's bag. Oh, so, yeah. my so, fucking God. Uh, so then nonstop complaining about, dude, like, first dude, hole, this isn't how. Yep. First hole, Wheels and I are, like, on and two. And we literally, I'm not joking you, wait 25 minutes for Stotts to hit his second shot. <laughs> Cause he cause airmails the, the green, <laughs> somehow learns how to chip and gets up and down for par. And I'm like, and, and what are then we doing we, here? We and then, yeah, I mean, your pace of play is is nowhere to even speak about his pace of play because when you and two, no, when you two get slower. together, you two turn into like Sunday at Augusta, bro. <laughs> like every ball must be found, and then we're gonna go look at the ball that must be found, but not play that one. We're yeah, gonna go yeah, to the yeah. other that's one. That's what I did in the first. That's, but, that's what Griff did in the first ball. Uh, my, I, the thing is, is that we had limited balls and there was a lot of trees out on this golf course. No, you and had so enough. <laughs> we had we, I didn't feel like we had enough. Anyways, I lost I, two balls. I, I was trying to find my first ball so I didn't have to play my breakfast ball and I just couldn't find it. And then um, in the, while I was looking for it, I found four other balls. Mm. Yeah, but regardless, like it was just, and we we were down so much on the front and on the back nine, we like make this like great charge. I'm like under par. Wheels, if he's playing on your team, I he's know, nothing brother, like no, the golfer. I was so bad yesterday. yesterday. Brother, he, I, no, I shot, three like, I, Listen, I've seen Wheels play great. He, it was 2v1. I'm not exaggerating. He didn't help on one hole. <laughs> <laughs> he, we yeah. he tied on two holes. We tie, He tied me on two holes. Other than that, it was 2v1. No, I won one hole. Oh, yeah, hit, which one was that? The, which one was that, Wheels? No, the, the, the blind shot where I hit that okay, uh, four Yeah, one. you made four. What did I make four? 
What I make you, you made four, yeah, okay. but they so also, they also bogeyed. <laughs> so we technically, but you did, technically didn't, didn't help. So he, all I'm saying his, is, yeah. if I didn't we have a partner, it would have been the same exact outcome. It would have been the same exact. And then there was two stroke holes for wheels because I like we were down uh -oh. like five going on the back. Of, wheels get strokes, uh, if that's okay. And then uh, he was just like right in the middle of the fairway, and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's just like, dude, where is Mark for wheels to play against him yeah. in these like moments? Mark. Yeah. Because you are literally, like, it's like Griff playing against me. There's another switch where yeah. you just don't miss screens, <laughs> yeah. and you get up and down for Yeah, it's like, it's like a hate thing. Like, somehow, like, because, like, deep down, Griff really hates Jake. Some, for some reason, i always known this, but, like, wheels really hates me. Um, and I, <laughs> I don't hate I, you. No, uh, you do. Um, <laughs> it's like a it's like a deep seated thing, subconscious hate. And it's okay, Wheels. It's all right, bro. Yeah, I don't. It's all right. It's the same way that Jake subconsciously hates me. Like I'll be talking <laughs> or doing something, and Jake will give me this look. Like he looks through me, and and I like all of a sudden he checks out, and he goes, "Who is this person <laughs> that I'm dealing with right now?" And 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 and, and it's okay. It's okay. Well, hate breeds a better golfer. Well, I did feel yeah. like no, you did hate me because I did accurate. text you. That's not accurate. I respect you. I respect you. You respect I, me. Yeah, I hate some of your life choices. You can hate and respect. Yeah, but no, I, I I respect you. I respect you comedically. I respect oh, he you respects as a friend, me too. As a person. He respects me yeah. too. It's yeah, yeah. the person. I wouldn't say I hate anything. I just like, I'm uh, a bit befuddled. By befuddled, some of, okay. Befuddled okay. by some of like, okay. how befuddled we got Befuddled from here. hate. Well, okay. <laughs> I texted you on Friday, and I'm still expect I'm still waiting for a text back because uh, I played my my best friend. He just shot his career day, and I'm like, this is this what it's yeah, like? And you're like, you? I lost to this shitter, and it's like, oh, oh I'm supposed I, to I feel better. A shitter. <laughs> no, <laughs> what are you I, talking about? Okay. Like, what are we talking about here? Bro? I lost to someone that's way worse than you, yeah, Mark. Is, yeah. is no, that, that's what not what happened? I said. Not what I said. Context. Context. No, yeah. I saw Wheels and fucking Zach at the uh, at the Top Golf event, and were you guys doing cocaine? These two were running <laughs> around. My my girl was like, I think they're on coke. I like, Yo, I think Wheels, Wheels just like, had dude, two drinks. No, I was no, I was uh, I was filming content. Dude, Wheels He's like, dude, I went content. to, I got a sick outfit. I went to Faraday. I got, I, I got both pieces from Faraday for Top Golf. Yeah, I did. They look like. Dumb shits, bro. Oh, they oh. look like fucking Damn. the Jews that they that they were staying with, bro. Like, <laughs> it was a hip hop event. Wheels couldn't look more white. <laughs> I know. Like, and and frolicking around with a smile on his face. I'm like, this is not the time and place hey, to be smiling. Don't take joy from Wheels. I will. I was happy. Okay? <laughs> joy <laughs> from Wheels. <laughs> wheels. <laughs> no, it was great. Wheels was fucked up. Wheels we, had, we had a great Mark, time. Okay, Mark can take joy from Wheels. Sometimes. Larry June performed. Nobody knew who the fuck he was. I was, was the only good? one rapping. How sick was it? It was so bad, bro. Oh, no. It was, it was like... He had all these like idiots like up front like not even like bouncing or rapping oh, and like I'm like in back like f literally standing out yeah rapping every word and it's so hard to rap um, Larry June like and omit the n words oh because you're like you were... in public oh. so yeah. you're like you be like yeah I be coming up uh, yeah uh, I feel that and he did like four songs the crowd was ass and he left and I was like yeah that's about how I thought this event would go. Yeah, that's so that's awful for him, but also really funny to witness. Saw Connor. I thanked him for the clubs. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I, I didn't even hit him for two weeks because they were dressed to fucking hung wang. And he's like, yeah, I couldn't get you. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Make me feel better. All right. Thank you. <laughs> How is Connor? Well, I couldn't get you. What is that? Like, mean? He couldn't get him to me. Apparently, I'm not on the clout list or something. So he had to address them to somebody else. Is that what happened? Yeah. So why did why were they addressed to me as Jake Weber? Can he just admit that he got it wrong? I, I have no idea. There's bro. a there's a huge there's a Jake Weber that's like big online. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I swear to God. <laughs> I think I've seen his content. Yeah. Huh? <clears throat> Jake Weber. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're right. Yeah. 2.8 million followers. Is this really what happened? I'm this redheaded TikTok cucko. Yeah. 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 His his bio is mess 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 mess. You know why? Because we're probably not um, okayed from Callaway. That's fair. It's probably like a brand risk, so we probably shouldn't be talking about it on the podcast. <laughs> well, how is Connor? <laughs> so how's Connor? <laughs> Thank you, Connor, for illegally getting us clubs. Oh, so what? That's so funny. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, that is hilarious. Were they addressed to your right name? Yeah. Well, yeah. you got clout. But I've and I've I've had stuff Were they from Cal to you? Callaway shipped to me. Yes, and sent to my house. 
I don't think this is. It can't be. It. I mean, that's what he said. Makes sense to me. Griffiths is like too persistent, and um, oh, they, they must also, have found out that we're. You know what it is? Yeah. It's also possible that they could allocate one. We're just suspended. <laughs> they, they, they must they, have they, sent they, out like a policy. <laughs> The yeah. notice to all the companies. <laughs> it was like, just so you know, these Dude, two are suspended. These two are suspended. It was from Jay no. Monahan's office. Yeah. Uh, no, well, my guess is maybe. I thought it was Saddam's <laughs> office, but. It was Griff and Stotts on the OK list for I'll, Callaway. I'll, I've gotten stuff from Callaway since 2018. <laughs> I'm guessing they probably had one allocation for CCA and it went to Griff. Yeah. Probably, yeah. That makes sense, too. But at least, instead of making ten grand, we got fucking Bad Birdie shirts, you know? Let's go, dude. High five, dude. Dude, here, I'm wearing the hat. Nice. Shout I, out Bad Birdie. Yeah. Where did Sick. you get that hat? What? Where did you get that hat? Bad Birdie sent it to me. Yeah, they sent it to us. Yeah. Did you get that same hat? Yeah. The sh that one shirt's sick. The one shirt's sick. The one shirt is the sick. The one shirt is sick. Yeah. Like, um, the cases of liquid death, I could do without. Yeah. Thing? No, you guys weren't involved. Uh, but... Just so you know, we. I love that you guys have side hustles. <laughs> we have side hustles with all the clothing brands. Yeah, yeah. we definitely um, overshot our welcome though. At Bad no. Birdie? No, not at all. Right? Not What'd at you all. Get, wait, no, we what? got hit up to do a collab with uh, Bad Birdie and Liquid Death, mm -hmm. and the guy hit us up and and was like, "Yo, you want to fucking do this?" And I was like, "What's the budget?" And he was like, "This," and I was like, "Absolutely not." And I was like, "Who you got?" On, on second, and he's like, oh, he's going to hit Aristotle. So I immediately hit up Aristotle to collude with him mm -hmm. and was like, does this sound good? And like, basically asked for a, a 10 times as much. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad, it was a bad budget. It was a bad, bad birdie budget. Yeah, it was bad birdie <laughs> budget. If you know anything about bad birdie and liquid debt, they are billion dollar companies Huge. that pay fucking nothing That's to true. creators. That's true. But I will say, I've, I have been rocking bad birdie since like 2020. But they gave you clothes. They gave us clothes. And they're like, all right, well, uh, if you want, here's like some shirts. <laughs> yeah, because they did a thing with Liquid Death. I was like, oh, this is so much better than fucking 10 grand. Yeah, it didn't. It was bad, Birdie. But yeah. it, you know what? Good shirt. One good, good, shirt. good shirt. One good shirt. Just good to know, you know? <laughs> just good to know. Yeah, maybe you got to just work on that, that individualized content a little bit, you know? <laughs> Maybe Who stop taking his. Tell. Maybe stop taking his bit. You know he's supposed to play with the Jews. I would. Uh, yeah, let's See talk about that. See what I did that. there. Now I'm trying to get them to <laughs> be in fighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm actually so happy for Griff because like I know what it's like to get coddled by Jews at their home clubs mm. and like how special of an experience that is and where they touch you. And I was just very excited for Griff to have that because I knew what was going to happen. Because yeah. every Jewish country country club I've been to, it's been literally like the best experience. Matzo they give ball you, at 11, brisk at 2. They'll give yep. you free apparel. They give you clothes. They Grilled uh, salami. You sit in a hot tub with them, you know. And like Griff had 36 holes of that, two different Jewish country clubs. Uh, so I, let's, I just want to hear about the experience. Shout out Will Slatkin, dude. He hooked it up <laughs> at Franklin Hills. Um, that club is awesome. Donald Ross course clubs all pickle. I'm not a pickle expert, but I know those are damn good pickles. Mm. That Israeli style they yeah, had starting to hurt again. They they had garlic <laughs> style. They had sour. They had mid sour pickles. I had matzo ball soup. We walked. We had a great time. Um, that course was incredible. He took care of me, dude. He like he wouldn't let me touch anything. And then I went from there. He even said, no, nah, don't worry. Don't even put in your GPS. Just I'll lead you there. Just follow me. I'll even lead you into the park. And I mean, lot. that's just Michigan, like, nice niceness. -ness. And then I went to Tam O'Shanter, which no idea that was a Jewish country club. I'm like, you guys are just stealing our culture. Yeah. But that's okay. Um, they, dude, Jordan Yellen was awesome. And as we played with his buddy Jake. I get done. They have a full spread of latkes. And pork chops with good mint jelly on too. them, mm. and they just mm. they took good care. Halfway through the round, I'm like, "Yeah, I'm in this shit VRBO." He's like, "What? What? What happened, dude? I told Jake we have a hotel if he wants it." And I'm like, "I don't know, I don't know, but we'll take it." So then he's like, "Yeah, we own a nice hotel in the nicest part of Detroit." I was like, "All right, let's do it, dude." So and they just do they just take care of you, man. They treat you good. But I want to say this, especially at Franklin, you know, there is a very unfortunate stereotype, an anti-Semitic stereotype, that Jewish people are greedy. Well, this, I've never heard this at any country club. I don't hear this at normal country clubs. At Franklin Hills, 
it's very expensive to get in and get initiated. And they say you have to match that initiation fee to a charity. And then you have to match like your monthlies to a charity. Their whole thing is if you can afford to be here, you can afford to give away to charity. Mm -hmm. So a lot of money. Now I know some people are like, I, that's a lot. Okay. I can give some away, but they're like, no, they, they're big philanthropists. And this is a, something you would see at a Jewish country club. And I haven't seen that at other country clubs. Like, they're like, no, like, you're doing well in life. If you're going to pay $300,000 yeah. to join this country club, you yeah. can afford $300,000 You can help charity. some other people out. Yeah. And I was like, so philanthropy is a big, uh, an important tenet. What do you think the scam is from that? <laughs> I mean, <it's laughs> you think they're like donating it through the club? It's well, like a joint no, I donation? Mean, you do it no, individually, like, but I think you, you have to show proof. So, yeah, you every donation is taxable, right? Well, like, yeah, like, but does the club... Does the club, you think the club benefits off their tax donation? Oh, that's interesting. Like, you think that they have to make it as like a joint donation? Like, hey, this is coming from him on behalf mm. of us. Mm. Oh. That's what I think. Yeah, it there's could probably some be, back there. You know yeah. what it could be, too? Is, yeah. is it could be. Media <laughs> anti semitism. <laughs> it's not anti semitism. I just know that philanthropy isn't a real thing. Yeah. I know, I, well, it's look, either PGA white savior tour, complex or it's a tax. Look, the PGA thing. Tour was it, a 501c for a long time, and yeah. I know. And yeah. so was the NFL. So I get it. Yeah, I, it's probably also just one of those things. It's like, look how good we are for the community. You know, like to, to make themselves feel better. They don't do. They don't care it about is that. Is a nice no. thing. Yeah, no, it <laughs> is. It is a very nice, is a very even, nice even thing. Even if it was done for the wrong reasons. <laughs> but even when you take a bee stinger, they die afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like all nice things, there is a caveat to them. Mm. I, you know, even even if it were, you know, it, for the wrong reasons, like I don't see other country clubs. I know Hillcrest does it too a little bit. Um, well, just, that's specifically the Jewish Federation. You have to donate to. They have a. The they have a Jewish. Feder they wrestle and shit. A worldwide <laughs> wrestling Jewish Federation. <laughs> so sick. Like all this shit. That are, well, the Goldberg. That's where Stone he went. Stone Cold Steve Cohen to the <laughs> ring. <laughs> but they don't have to do any of that. But the they ultimate do. Jew -er, Jew Jew -er. <laughs> Nacho Nacho Lieb Juice. <laughs> yeah. Nacho Leibowitz. The Matzah Rock. But we're going Hollywood to, Hulk Jugen. <laughs> we're going to Atlanta next week, or when this podcast is out, we'll be in Atlanta. And for the long drive. For the long drive. You're in for that, right? Yeah, what the dates are, those are the 10th through 12th? Um, yeah. Do you have to be back on the 12th, or could you? can you fly back on Tuesday? Because if you can, I can probably, I can maybe ask if... Uh, you can play this Jewish country club as well. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. My fucking back is still just ass. Uh, I'm okay. thinking I'm going to go to Tijuana and get PRP. Huh? For your hair? For my back. Oh. Yeah, I can come back whenever. PRP? Yeah. Plasma replacement. Oh, that's that serious. It's where they like take shit out of your disc, blood, and then they stick that blood in a centrifuge. They spin it around mm -hmm. a bunch of times so that way you get the fucking blood working and then they squirt that back into your spine. Yeah. And that way, when it goes back in your spine, all the anti-inflammatory shit starts. Ooh, I need to start doing that shit. Let's go, Gosh, dude. Let's get you some stem cells, dude. That's that's the big thing. Yeah. Like, I was talking to Brian from Sandy Parr. Yeah. And his boy is Mike Escamilla, who is Rooftop. Uh, I don't know if you ever, like, rooftop played Matt, Matt Hoffman's BMX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was, like, a pro biker, and he was, like, he wasn't paralyzed, but he was just, like, dead. Like, he yeah. couldn't do anything. And then he went to Mexico and started doing stem cells. And he says, like, I haven't felt as good in like 20 years. Stem cells is the real deal. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be able to play in this pro-am next Monday? Uh, yeah, I'll take some Tylenol and Advil and just fucking, you know. All right. Yeah, um, yeah I'm looking forward to the long drive. Um, but, uh, Stats, you want to do our uh, speed question segment? Yeah. Yeah, I do want to do, do that? our speed se sections questions. Speed segment questions. Um, guys, this is the speed segment questions. Is that what it's called? I mean, we're, it's working title. Yeah, this is our <laughs> speed segment questions brought to you by LF Go, baby. If you want energy to the max, LF Go, 200 milligrams of caffeine. We're talking this entire thing has, uh, let me tell you how many pouches exactly, 15 energy pouches. Each one of those is about the amount that you would get in an energy drink. And it's in one container. It also goes very well with our tin bins, which is where we're going to put these pouches. Uh, you can get those on our website at countryclubadjacent.shop. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? This is the speed questions. Here we go. We're starting with Mark. We're going to work around the room. 
Okay, we're going to work around the room. We're yeah. Gonna, well, just wheels for the steals. Wheels, wheels for the steals. But yeah, wheels for the steals. For the steals but mm-hmm. it's going to go Mart, and then Griff, then Jake. Here we go. Okay. When were the first known Olympic Games held? Mart. Uh, Get 1912. You have your phone. Uh, this is how I focus. 1912. That's see, that's not the correct. The first known Olympic Games. Oh, the first known. No, Olympic. not the modern Olympics. Oh, okay. Because 1912 was a Titanic. So I'm gonna say then, <laughs> then uh, 1946. Okay, uh, that is wrong. <laughs> Griff, first known Olympics. When were they held? Mm, we're talking about like 2,500 years ago, BC probably. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, about uh 300 BC. Uh, no, Jake. 1760. Nope. Guys, uh, wheels for the steals. I'm going to go, I think it's like 1260 or something. No, no one was that close. I guess technically Griff was the closest, but the answer is 776 BC. I was close. Mm -hmm. No points. Um, No points awarded. How many Olympic rings are there? Nine. Wait, how come he gets to go first again? Oh. What is that? I, th- I thought we were just staying in the same order. Nine. Well, no, it no. goes, it goes Griff. Griff, All right. Okay, sorry. It goes to Griff. Oh, so I get another shot. <laughs> uh, there are s- five. Ding, ding, ding. That's One point say. for Griff. That's what I was going to say. All right. This next one's coming. Uh, how many stroke lead did John Rahm have before choking in this year's Olympics? Four. Wow. Ding, ding, ding. Jake, here we go. What did Scotty Scheffler shoot to win the Olympics on Sunday? 62. At- Ding ding ding! Mart, whoa, we got a three-way tie. Here we go. This is uh, this is first to raise their hand. What place? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, you got to answer. Yeah. What place? You got to answer. You raise your hand. What place <laughs> did Wyndham Clark finish this year at the Olympics? Ooh, I was, saw Griff's hand go up first. Uh, forty-second. Nope. Um, ninth. Nope. Fourteenth. <gasps> What? Mark wins. I thought Holy he finished shit. top ten. There was a bonus question. There, there is a bonus question. You Switch. Can, you can get a bonus question and really put it down. Yep. Put what, it down. What was his final score? Ooh, eighty-two. No, no, his final what? score total oh. to par. Oh, to par. Yeah. Plus four. Nope. Damn. Doesn't yes. matter. I already won. Uh, Eleven under. Wow. Griff, we have a tie. No, I, that's a bonus. I won yeah, the game. Right, right, yeah, right. Bonus, yeah, bonus. yeah. It was I did a bonus. Say that was a bonus. If it was a tie, it was bonus it was round. Bonus round. Don't fucking. That seems a little sc- like. What is the last question for? That's like if there was a tie breaker. Okay, there, if there was. Okay, a tie so if we have oh, an okay. issue here, I do have one more question. Okay, then it's me and Griff. You and Griff for the final. What top twenty-five golfer withdrew from the competition because he was a whiny baby at five over? I know. I think I know. Tommy Fleetwood. Nope. Tommy no. Fleetwood. I think I know. Second. Can I steal? He got the silver medal. With Can I steal? You could steal. Withdraw. Withdraw. Which golfer with This is so dumb. I won, steal and then you backtracked me into playing for if my win. Because I thought I was out of questions, and turns out I wasn't. Can I, if I steal, do we all tie? Yep. Go for it. I don't know. Colin, uh, Colin Morikawa. No. Oh, oh who's a whiny was... bitch? Who does Stott hate? <gasps> Patrick Can- Patrick Cantlay. No. Oh, oh, he wasn't in it. Wheels for the steals? I don't know. Wait, I can't think of it. Okay, should I give you a hint? Yeah. All right. This is you're gonna you're gonna have to put decide who puts their hand up first. Okay. He's uh, Great Britain. Oh, Griff. Griff. It was Griff. Terrell Hatton. No. No. He didn't make it. Oh, oh, Matt Fitzpatrick. Matt Fitzpatrick. Yes. Yeah, wow. That's who, it was. that's who it was. Wheels. He withdrew. Uh, yeah, yeah, he withdrew Why? at five over. I don't know. I didn't look into I think it. Back at all. or something. Yeah, it wasn't like. Wow. Withdrew. Wait, so who won? won? Uh. We need another Mark question. and Griff, yay! <laughs> we'll, we'll get buzzers for next time. This is so dumb. Dude, I didn't know I had that many questions. It was my fault. It was my fault. Fucking bad host. How I'm many bad questions host. should you have, do you think, prepared? Five? Five. I think five, five and we get buzzers. I, I think we should get I think we should get the handheld buzzers. I, mean, yeah, I like just going around because then it's like I like just first to respond. I screwed up. I get the bonus I should have never went into the bonus. I screwed yeah, up. You definitely should But have. I wanted to be like, hey, this could be fun. <laughs> yeah. It was. Um uh, okay, so Stotts has one. Mark and Griff have one. <laughs> Um, this is so dumb. We, we so should be stupid. playing for something at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we we yeah, should yeah. be playing for something at the yeah. end of it. You got a pair of shoes. Uh, go pouch. You get, uh, yeah, hey, pair of shoes. That'll, that'll work. LF go pouches. Oh, Thank you. Go. Dude. 
Planned on gaming Daniel all night tonight. Dude, it was so great. We we actually were uh, pouching on these things in uh, Michigan. And let me tell you, they they work. Yeah. I was blown away. We we're, Dude, we're, I had one at like one in the morning. Didn't sleep till six. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. I it like worked. that there's no nicotine, no tobacco, just caffeine. It's just like drinking an energy drink. We were yeah, out cool. at the yeah. tent and I had asked one of the staff, I was like, hey, if you have any time, could you bring some uh, coffees? And he completely forgot. And I was like, well, we, you know, we got these. Yeah. So I tried it out and saved the day. It was literally it saved the day. It was like exact product testing. I've never put a Zen or, or a Lucy or anything in my mouth. Never had a, a nicotine pouch. And so I was like, you know what? I'm like a new person in this product category. And the flavor was really good. And I felt alert and I woke up and I didn't get jittery. So I was, I'm yeah. a huge fan. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Top tier. Pair with a, with a 20 milligram XR Adderall, and you're fucking cooking, dude. Bro. You are cooking. You're you cooking, are locked bro. in. So Unbelievable. I played a lot of golf this past week. Good for you, um, dude. I'm I, so jealous, man. What's that like to have a body that responds? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nice. I mean, you'll you'll get back there. Though. I hope so, back. bro. You will, dude. You'll go to Tijuana. I like shit. Just like not getting better, bro. It sucks. That sucks. And I'm doing like deep lunges. Have you done? Uh, have you done cold plunge yet or anything like no, that? No, I I should try to do you that. Should try that. that have you tried like cleaning your car? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Unreal. I hope Yuck. you wrecked that Cadillac too. Un so, <laughs> already did. <laughs> no, the, that wrecked that one as well oh, as okay. I said. So, <laughs> I, remember when uh, I said that, and then I, he actually wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was fucked up. All right, but yeah, I went up to Idaho to play in this member guest uh, oh, up at, at yeah. Gazer Ranch, and it was uh, the most unfair golf tournament I've ever been in my life. That sucks. My little cousin is a thirty-two handicap, and I was playing as a four, so he would get twenty-eight strokes, whatever, or no, twenty, thirty strokes. Yeah, twenty-eight Damn. strokes. Um, per is. per match, right or nine like? Are oh, you playing match. against him? No, 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 no. It was uh, we were on a team, but it was oh, like so nine whole matches. So that's cool. You would it, think, it, yeah. Until the night before, like, so we played a practice round against this guy Sheldon Saray, who used to be in the NHL, and another guy, and Zach got all of his strokes, and we just mopped. Like, we won like six and five, and we're like, we're gonna win this golf tournament. And the night before, we get a call. Zach gets a call saying, "There's a ten stroke differential for teams." For teammates. So Zach, who's a 32, hits the ball 210, 220 yards, uh, had to play as a 14. He's Oof. never broken 110 in his life. And so I'm like, okay, well, I have to shoot 32 every time I go out and so play messed up. to have a chance in this golf tournament. And Zach was giving strokes to these like former NHL guys. And dude, that's insane. Like, yeah, yeah like, your cousin needs to get his shit together, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 get, let's work on getting his game to where he can compete. Dude, we had it in the. He's a, a dangerous 32. Like, Anybody's a dangerous 32, yeah, bro. Yeah, one par. My dead like grandfather's a, a dangerous 32, Dude, the bro. week before the tournament, like, he was just just patting the zin, or just patting the gin, and just, like, putting in, like, all of the, like, these scores, like, one, but it's, like, what he shoots, though. Like, he's, I put, he's never broke 110. Yeah. He was just putting in one. Where was your pad? I should have padded. If I knew, I would have padded. Should have padded, bro. I thought I was padding by, like, being a four, and with then, so 32. he was with a 32. And I was playing super well going into it. I'm like, we're going to win this golf tournament. Yeah. Um, and then we did not win a match. Uh, we got, like, the most we got in each match was, like, three and a half points. Oh. So, question, what was the prize? What would the prizes have been? They had to have been good if it's a discovery property. I'm sure it was. I didn't even stick around to see. Oh, it's such a bummer, Yeah, dude. but the, the, gift, the, the gift swag bags were uh, pretty incredible. What are we talking about? Uh, new LA golf putter, which is already up on Griff's. Oh eBay. yeah, I saw that. Um, uh, a brand new Sun Mountain bag, which will be, which I got. Actually, we're gonna do a giveaway because you, one of you guys can can have this bag. Uh, I, I got Country Club adjacent embroidered on it. A tick. Do I still a don't have a Country Club adjacent bag, but whatever. <laughs> You've gotten like six free golf bags. <laughs> you, you want my, you want my golf bag? Two, gonna, two golf bags. Do you, want, do you want the Sun Mountain one? <laughs> two golf bags. We, we can do a giveaway like, right here on the podcast. I don't like Sun Mountain golf bags. No, we got we got to figure out a good giveaway for yeah. our audience because I, I I don't want this bag. I, yeah. I don't need I, it. And well, the Twitter one. <laughs> yeah, we can do maybe a Twitter giveaway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. If you follow us on Twitter, we'll we'll do a giveaway on Twitter. How about that? Okay. How about w. that? I love that. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing. Uh, we'll choose the best retweet of the week of one of our tweets, and we're gonna be giving the bag away to that person. 
All I'm going to say is that I almost bought a Sun Mountain go- golf bag a long time ago. because I'm out- about to buy one of the travel bags. It's got great pouches. Yeah. A lot of good pouches. In yeah, they are, but the name is Sun Mountain. Yeah. And it's like so dog It's for shit. your grandfather. Yeah, it's so bad. But, but also, they have, you're, you want this bag. They have the travel bags that have the little stand that comes out with the wheels. Oh, oh yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, dude. That's uh, They have that one. And so I think I'm going with Sun Mountain. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you the put those was crazy. You? Not yet. God, dude. Um, I want to hear. I want to. I want a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want a picture of what they do for you. I'll just yeah. send you a picture of a brick, just bricked, <laughs> but like boxers. You know, send me a picture of you bricked in boxers, wow. right before you're about to slay the dragon, like in the bathroom when you go take it secretly. Yeah, and then make sure that there's no blue in your mouth because that's a telltale sign. Oh, she's okay. gonna be like, "Why is that all blue?" You're be like, "I had a Slurpee." I had a Slurpee in the bathroom real quick. I love Dolly Ranch super and raspberry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that look from Jake, I think. That was the I look. I think that was it. That no, was the no, look. That, that was, was the, the look. look. That wasn't it. That was yeah. Yeah. See it? Yeah. That was the look. He goes like this. He goes like this. He goes, yeah. Um, that's the look. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, the look. I seen it. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but seen that uh, angst drives me. So to like you what? should be like to get free what? Cadillacs. No, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, it's like to, to go to Ireland without us. Yes, yeah. <laughs> w. Yeah. W. It's nice hat though. Maybe a good time. <laughs> uh, maybe a, the right time to tell you guys I am going back to Ireland in. Uh, when are you going? Um, in October. Yeah. For what? Yeah, we He's know. Going back to play old head. Yeah. Um, Why wouldn't you? Jack is doing a, a golf trip, and he asked me. I'm, I'm. I have to. I'm paying for it. It's like I don't. I'm regretting every day going back to Ireland, especially in October yeah. Ooh, and it's yeah. expensive. And yeah. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't ever pay for golf. And like, I'm paying like no. four grand to go. He asked me to go to be, to be in solidarity with them. I'm not going, I'm not going to Did Jack hit us up? No, no, he didn't. Mm. Uh, and I went out to that nice team building dinner with him too mm. in Texas. Yeah. I mean, that's like, uh, you something think, you got to take up with him. I, you would I just, think I would have got the fuck. I wanted to get ahead of it and tell you guys that yeah. I am going back to Ireland, and I brought, I have, I'm I brought losing money doing it. Yeah, yeah. You brought us to Jack. That's crazy. Well, we both but I wouldn't have paid. I wouldn't have paid to go there though. So. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I I'm yeah. very much regretting. Yeah. yeah. Saying yes to it. Yeah. You could bail. Um, yeah. You could, could definitely bail in solidarity for us. I already put like a deposit down. You can get it back. Yeah. Yeah. How much is this deposit? Like a thousand bucks. Yeah. 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 We used to eat that. Well, we had that live thing in October, but. I wish we had something. We have nothing those well, days. We don't have anything. No, lives in September. Oh, I thought that was yeah. October. Okay. No, I have nothing. We have Atlanta in October. Huh? I have like shows. We're doing in something in October. We have something booked in October. Yeah. I think it's Atlanta as well. I have yeah. shows that no one's going to show up to. Hey, shout out to everybody that showed up to the show. It's all fucking 12 of you. Thank you. No, I know it was tough. 6 p.m. show and then a fucking 7 p.m. show in Connecticut. Mark, you're going to get through this grind, though, and then you're going to look back on this time and be like, well... And I'm, I'm never going to talk to any of you again. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. No, no, hey, no. Well, like, uh, it, Can we talk about the... the sh- did you shoot any of the show, potentially, or what's going on? Did you, Is that happening? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet, no, but it's still I, got, I, got, I actually got a uh, callback email, um, um, possibly shooting soon, so... We'll yeah, see. let's go, dude. Can, can I say something as a hint for audience for now? Nope, nope, okay. nope, okay. nope, nope. All right, big things we'll coming see. for darts. We'll see. Um, could be. Could, I mean, anything could be big. Anything's bigger than what I got now for my audience. <laughs> um, shout out Lima, bro. We had some cucks out there, like uh, at the New York one. They they were good shows. I had like a group of sixteen year olds come out to the Connecticut one. Let's go. It was Uh-oh. hella funny, bro. Oh, really? nice. Because like, cause, like it, I had like one sixty five year old. And then like a group of 16 year olds and I'm like, w- like, what's the middle ground here? You know? And it's like, maybe I'm not selling because all my fan base isn't allowed to go to the comedy club yet. You know mm. what I'm saying? So like in five years, you know, I could be selling out. I would have killed myself by then, but maybe that's what it is. Could know? be. What's your demographic? 16 to 65. Yeah. Well, 16 or 65 is my or. demographic wheels. Nothing um, in the middle, though. No, nothing in the middle. <laughs> no, everybody in the middle was like this. <laughs> but they were good shows. We had a good time. Good. So Turned them around. Little update in the golf world. Nothing really has changed as far as the OWGR. They've just reannounced that live players don't get um, any points or can't qualify for, for, the, for the Ryder Cup. Yeah, it makes a lot um, of sense, too, because half of them are winning majors and fucking placing in... 
the only you know it just makes so much sense yeah so it's becoming just politics yeah at this point yeah. i mean it's always been politics but like now it's just a uh, parent and blatant yeah it's wild that there is just inside jobbing going on to get these points and it just it, it doesn't make any sense to me no i mean obviously y you could argue the three days to four days um but at least like give a port then take that portion whatever three days to four days is do your little math thing um and and figure it out that way you know like at least meet them in the middle yeah right compromise you can't just continuously just do nothing for these players these no. players are playing top tier golf like it's it is a travesty that cam smith was not playing for australia that's a travesty how is he not in the fucking olympics yeah or what's his face not playing for uh what's Bryson. their face I mean, Bryson, Bryson yeah, or Bryson Kemp, uh, uh, Thomas Peters. Yeah, Thomas Peters. Uh, Although I will uh, say Thomas Dietrich did show up. Yeah, but they, up. there's another guy from Belgium do? who didn't show up. How did Dietrich do? Like, he was, he was uh, tied for uh, eighth. He had, uh, top 10? Yeah, yeah he, he was, was top, top 10. 10. Wow. Um, but the other guy from Belgium, who should have been Thomas Peters, finished like bottom of the barrel. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, it's a big bummer that these guys are missing out for no reason other than politics. And mm -hmm. then the Frenchman, the, uh, the second Frenchman, Pavone. bottom line. Last place. Oh, that you know what reminds me of own country. You know what it reminds me of? Um, I don't know if you like knew about this freestyle skier uh, that just found a loophole in the Olympics for women's half pipe. And just accumulated points by just riding up and down the walls uh, on the half pipe. Didn't do any tricks. Didn't even get air. <laughs> but she found the loophole. And then she makes it to the Olympics on the Olympic Serbian team, freestyle women skiing. And then she just goes and does the most grom run on the half pipe. Like just back and forth, back and forth. Like pizza-ing. What? And it's just, her, And it's just, yeah, but it's embarrassing to the country. Like yeah. there shouldn't be... A loophole that gets shitty golfers in and and also the loophole that like prevents, prevents yeah good yeah. golfers from getting into the Olympics yeah. it doesn't it, it, it's just that's not how Olympic Games should be Olympic no. Games is sport not politics well and, and and that's the thing too is like you know in every sport there is a trial and there is a there's some kind of a tryout there's there's something yeah, that where's makes the you trials? qualify Where's the U.S. Olympic trials? Why aren't we setting up a tournament that has all that? Just like the U.S. Open, you know, you have to you have to submit. You have to get in. It can be however many people. Maybe they limit the field or whatever. They take the top eighty golfers, whatever it is, and then they battle it out to yeah, see like who's that. the best. I like that a lot. And then our best four are going based on the result of that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. You can you can use that like points uh, accumulating. You could use it for like exemptions. Like. Every single other sport has a tryout, trial, some kind of qualification. Why right. not golf? Why are they using a fake, made up point system that hates a group of people for playing on a different tour? I don't know. Yeah, some some something to think about. Something to think about. Some to chew on. Well, real quick, let's talk about the format. There was a lot of talk on Twitter about the format of like, yeah, this is just a normal just golf tournament. Would there be anything you would have changed to make it more of a team event? Yeah, I mean, they could have done exactly, they could have literally taken a playbook out of what Liv does and just had, you know, individual score plus team score. And then that way you have an individual medal and a team medal. That would have been pretty cool. Um, that The other thing too would be limit the team, like limit the amount of players. So, like, instead of USA sending four players, maybe you only send three players and it's all three scores count every single day and that's your team. Or do a match play, or do bro, like four person scramble, bro. Four Two person, person scramble, scramble, bro. Like it's Olympics, bro. Like do, it's a team thing. Do like Olympics a, a country mixed, a mixed four person scramble where it's guys and girls. Like yeah, bro, that'd be yes. so sick. Fuck dude. it up. Literally, that would be fuck so it up. sick. Dude, Nelly dude. Corda and Scotty Scheffler what? destroying the world. Bro, that would be so right? sick, bro. Why? Why, why can't we have that? Too? Yes. For the scramble, you kind of pat it with the guy who hits the ball forever. Oh, yeah, like, like, like why can't we have that, dude? Yeah. These are like fun things that we want to watch. I've never seen like i know that the dell ma the dell match play or whatever or the whatever the team play is they do like a uh, best ball they do uh alternate shot and all that i've never seen a pro scramble where's there a pro scramble i want to see i want to see how low four pros can go yeah, yeah against other four pros oh my god that would be sick it would be sick
It would be super be sick. It would be third. easy to film. Yeah. It w- you could have them mic'd up. <laughs> yeah. It would be faster than a normal round of golf. It would be f- sick, dude. Just saying. I don't want to see regular golf on the Olympics. Bro. Right? I, I want to see some crazy shit. Yeah. Like, dude, it's for the Olympics. Yeah. Let's do some cool shit. And not test for steroids. Yeah, don't test for steroids. Let's see how let's see how good of athletes these people really are. Yeah. Un yeah. unlimited. My favorite is a few years ago, <laughs> Ireland <laughs> won a gold medal in the Olympics. One gold medal for uh like horse horse racing. And then later on they caught the horse <laughs> Uh, using steroids, and they took the gold medal away. They caught the they horse caught the using horse. The horse, steroids? The horse steroids. was shooting oh my himself God, up. I'm not dude. making this up. And they pulled the medal. No. <laughs> Look this up. Look it up. I'm not making this they up. They just, like, get the horse, and he's, like, Mr. Hansing it with a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happened. Just he's, in... like, got the needle in his mouth, yeah. like, reaching yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, it's like Ed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 He's got an Irish accent. He's like, oh, you caught oh, me. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's heroin, I swear. <laughs> it's ketamine. <laughs> Irish horse golf medal. <laughs> McClaggan. Yeah, wow. There it is. <laughs> Ireland's. Wow. Reese. McClaggan. Lanahan upgraded. Wow. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that embarrassing? Yeah. Sad. Well, they won their first swimming medal this year, and they won their first... Uh, Gold medal in gymnastics. So shout out to Orlin. Sorry, Rory. Um, Rory kind of choked too. Yeah. Sad. Well, um, this is the first podcast in a while that all the girls have been here. Mm-hmm. And what a treat to all be back together back during together. the summertime when we're all traveling mm. yep. all the time. Um, but so much travel. I think that's about all the time a podcast should be. That's fair. Um, let's let's have a great week. Okay. Let's go out there, shoot some low scores. Productive. And uh thanks for everybody to uh thanks for everybody uh tuning in to the live stream. Um we're gonna keep that going. So we're gonna be um, live streaming every time we time. uh every time we release a YouTube video, you'll catch one of us live streaming, uh watching it and shit and uh interacting with you guys and uh hit me up on the DMs if you want me to create a country club adjacent PGA tour. 2K League. Let's Ooh, go. Because they finally got crossplay, And I yeah. did it at, at the beginning of the game, but there was no crossplay, So now I can do it. We could all play. So Ooh, maybe maybe we'll play some of that on stream. We'll play uh, darts versus the cucks or something. Let's go. Darts, if you want to stream like late tomorrow night, I could come over and do it with you. I just can't during the day. Yeah. Yeah. We can um, do that. For, to watch the video tomorrow. Yeah, we can do that. I'd be down for that. Sweet. All right. I'll come over after. All righty. Um, I got ther- couples therapy at like 4.30. So like four thirty to five thirty. Yeah, we do it at like seven. Yeah, there you seven. go. Yeah, seven. I'll get some dinner with my girl and then cool plans. Sweet. Thanks, guys. We love you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we're not in the club, but we're right next to it. Me and my crew, we are country club adjacent. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Country club adjacent. Country club Jason, baby.